Welcome, listeners, to Crossing Borders, a podcast that is not about immigration. I am your host, Sid, also known as Whitney, and this is my wonderful co-host, Josh, also known as Mythic. Grab your passports Hello. and join us for episode numero 12, where we will be talking about education across borders. And this is part three. If you haven't seen the other two parts, check them out first and then come back. But first, let's catch up with each other's week before going into this episode. So, Josh, uh, do you have a story to share? I do. I, I have stories to share again. Ooh. I know. Insane. Uh, but first things first, I think we need to correct Squidney or Sid right. for saying the episode number wrong. It's episode 13, boy. Right. <laughs> Today's oh, yeah. episode 13 it is, is episode. about education across borders. Although, yep. um, I do have a story. So, today, <laughs> today, literally today, I almost died again. This is insane, right? Oh my I, gosh, you got to stop well, doing this. <laughs> I, I know it's. Uh, I mean, it's not in my control. Someday it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, it's gonna happen to all of us. Oh man! Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, um, so today uh, I was riding um, public transport as per usual, as I yeah. have talked about in episode seven, I think, about uh, sh- uh the, the 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 mafia thing. Um, yeah. Was that episode seven? I remember. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> yeah. So I, I went in the bus and uh-huh. bada bing, bada boom. You know, traveling for like I, I, I mean, at least thirteen kilometers. I think it's for around uh, one and a half hours, which is pretty long. But in the middle of it, when I was riding, I was like uh, watching downloaded YouTube videos on my phone, and then I'm, I'm like, hmm, smells different in here, doesn't it? I mean, it usually smells quite bad from like mm-hmm. people's sweat and stuff today it but smelled it, even worse today, today it smells different like it's it's worse somehow yeah you are correct <laughs> on that part yes um and then uh since i wore uh wireless earphones uh but i only wore one of them so i can still hear yeah. um the announcer announce what station we're stopping at next and then um and then i was like hmm the engine sounds different I wonder what's happening. Uh oh. <laughs> but then, after I'd say like maybe 10, 20 minutes, um, the smell got way worse. I'm like, am I, is something wrong with me? I, I'm smelling something really bad. Am but I slowly breaking? Everybody else, everybody else around me has no reaction, like zero reaction. Huh. I was like, am, am I crazy? Like, maybe I'm just like smelling things that I shouldn't be. I don't know. I was just like, okay, well, I guess. I guess I'll I'll stay quiet, but then it got worse. Uh, the engine noise started going really weird, and then and then Uh-oh. people have a reaction from said uh, weird noise from the engine. Uh-oh. I'm like, okay, f- I'm not apparently I'm not crazy after all. <laughs> I guess I did smell something. And uh-huh. then uh, um, the guy beside me was like, uh, "What's happening? Like, what's uh, what what what's wrong with the engine or something like that?" And then. I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, I'm not the uh, engineer, clearly. Um, but <laughs> then on the next station, uh, the conductor told everyone to hop off the bus. And apparently, I think something was clearly wrong with the engine, and it was spewing out smoke. Yeah, so, that, that's a pretty clear sign that something's wrong with the engine. Yeah. Uh huh. But I never. I. I. I've never experienced that before like i re- I, I yeah in my life i've never experienced such an emergency of like having to evacuate out of a burning building or something like that so yeah doing that for the first time like actually people rushing out of the bus just to get to the safe place is like whoa I've never this has <laughs> never happened before what's I'm, this I'm safety a, sort of in a, in a bit of a shock yeah huh so yeah that's how i almost died i don't know i, I mean it's probably not too bad. Not, it's not pretty like sure you wouldn't have right? died, but but I mean, still, it was a it was a thrilling one would say. <laughs> I mean, and it then, could have exploded right after you left. It could. So, uh, well, well, we don't know about that. <laughs> well, immediately I'm after sure you stepped off the bus, it burst into flames. 
Everyone starts screaming. And, and I wear we my just walk sun- away, all cool with sunglasses. Walk right? away. Oh yeah. With my sun. I was about to say the sunglasses thing. Oh my god, we had yeah. the same. <laughs> we had the same thing in mind. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Yes, I know. Sunglasses. We are clearly our super cross high. cultural <laughs> icons of coolness. Yep. It's just an Lovely. innate human thing. It's coded into our biology to think sunglasses Definitely. are cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Although, um, on the way back, uh, this time, I'm not riding on a bus. I ride, I ride the train. Um, uh-huh. The train's fine, I think. Uh, nothing's different or anything. Did he give you but a cool I hop poem? The train, I'm sorry, what? Did he give you a poem this time? The train dude. Oh, no, this is once a boring guy. It's just like, uh, uh, and then doors close or door open. Like, uh, I don't, like, they definitely, I've seen um, a meme or like a, a funny video made by Stephen E. If you know about him. Stephen E. is awesome. Okay, apparently you know about him. He's yes, hilarious, nice. like, actually. Um, <laughs> hilarious as in, like, I can relate as well, you know, like, oh, that's yeah, actually I can't relate, like, but he's just funny anyway, so... <laughs> Um, there's an, a video he did about like um, announcers doing an audition. Yeah. And then the more unclear it is, the more like the employer was like, "Bravo, this is amazing, this is art, <laughs> beautiful." I, I was feeling that when I was writing the train. Like, how did this guy get to be the uh, the train controller again, the announcer or whatever? <laughs> oh dear. Although uh. when I came back, so I. Ordered like an Uber, but here we call it Grab. We talked about this in episode seven. Yeah. Go check it out. It's a great episode. We talk about mafia as well. So you know, if you're interested, go check it out. Yeah. And while you're down there, you know, why not hit subscribe, hit a follow, get great yes. episodes every single week. What more can you ask for? Am I right? Comment something about my hair. Yes, you 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 <laughs> never see Squiddy's hair, but one day you'll see it because I. After this, whatever recording we're doing, I'm, I'm definitely asking Squiddy for something uh, relating to hair. Uh, anyway, what? Uh, uh, that, huh? aside, <laughs> <laughs> that aside, <laughs> that aside, that aside, when I was running okay. back on the, uh, the motorbike uh, um, from the station, I passed this big river that I was talking about in episode three. You guys can also listen to that episode, a great one as well. Um, where in, th- in this river is one of the dirty ones, the one that you can clearly see how brown it is. It's like, um, yeah. it's like, the, it's like, it's like a really cursed chocolate milk with um, black spots <laughs> on top of it. And it, I see milk. this guy, you know, pulling off his, uh, what's it called, um, uh, uh, g- wagon of like, um, you know, snacks that he sells like maybe on the side of the road. And drink like a little cart. And I I see him washing like one of the um the oh, uh no. like glasses and the plates using the, the river's ice. water and I can uh, clearly see and I mean I'm like whoa well oh, that made my stomach feel something, but man, that is a <laughs> that is a I was like, Oh okay, Did you yes I gotta be him? careful of these guys. I, I didn't, but it would I've have been seen. So I mean, much like funnier. It would have yes. been so much funnier if, like, you're like, "Oh, can I?" You know, you buy something from him, and then you're like taking it away, and then you turn around and see that right there, and you're like, "Uh." <laughs> that would have been funny, yeah. But I mean, not Uh-oh. funny for me. Funny for the <laughs> whoever listening to this story. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought it was uh, hilarious. Well, that that's just so you, man. What can I say? <laughs> I think oh, everyone's misfortunes uh, are hilarious, including my own. After the fact, of course. Are you secretly a psychopath, you know, one in 100 people? No, I just <laughs> seek happiness in everyone. But their suffering also brings me joy. Interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. We, we may have learned something here about Sid today. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath, I promise. I'm a sociopath. Okay. No, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, hold on a minute. I know where you well, live. Regardless of what uh, Sid is, um, that's all about my story. So, you may, uh, what about you? What's been happening with this um, crazy life of yours? 
Well, your story reminded me of something that happened last week on my commute what? to work. Hold on a minute. I, I, I thought you said you had no story before we started recording. I, yeah, but you, you reminded me of a story. So, well, that's I not shall fair. Tell that. Okay, all right, keep going. I was, like, <laughs> I was sort of like hoping you had like, okay. So this week, I actually have no idea what to tell the story about. So uh, I <laughs> ate a like bagel that. for breakfast today. Uh, it was pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so last week, <laughs> um, it snowed. Uh, that's nice. It's it snowed really good. Is um, it? and it was really icy outside, and. Ooh. I was hoping they would cancel school. It would be a snow day, so we'd get school off. I'm not a student at the Ooh. school. I'm a. Uh, I work as a substitute teacher for anyone an listening who doesn't substitute know. Substitute teacher. Uh, yeah, on so that I note. get paid to go to school, which is much better than just going to school. I assure you. Uh huh. Where you have to pay to go to school and you have to go to school. I love money. Anyways, so we, I wake up and a school is not canceled. Unfortunately. Although no! it should have been, I, if I was in charge, it should have been canceled. Not because I wouldn't have to go to work, but because it, the roads were in a hazardous condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So most of the time after it snows, it's it's a little bit slick in some places, but most of the time, if you're um, careful, like not like oh my goodness, I'm so careful, but like as long as you're cautious, you'll be fine. Um, most of the time. However, Most of the, time. the roads were like so slick. It was absurd. Um, so uh, I think it was <laughs> okay. I don't know, like an episode or two ago, I mentioned I live in a cul de sac. So the road mm -hmm. I need to take to uh, the school is I just go straight out from my house down the road and then turn onto the highway. So that's nice. I, I get up there. Uh, there's a school bus that stopped there, or it was about to stop there uh, to pick up kids because that's a bus stop. Uh, and so I start to go before it stops, so it's still legal. Um, and I'm barely moving forward, not because I wanted to, but because I was slipping out so much. I, w I was intentionally oh, no. like barely pressing down the pedal, and I was still like slipping out, and I was barely crawling into the lane. And I'm like, okay, come on, come on. And... Then something incredibly uh, interesting happened. Nobody was hurt. Ooh. I will proceed with that. So you guys don't have to skip oh, ahead. Okay. Everyone was fine. Okay. <laughs> so there were two cars coming down the other side of the road. So um, the bus comes from the left, and I was turning right. So we were both in the right lane. Um, All right. And then there was two cars coming on the opposite direction. It's a two-lane road. So one lane going both ways. So Definitely. there are two cars. Yep. And since the bus was there, uh, it was just stopping, so they had to come to a stop. And there's a hill right there, so you can't really see far ahead. Um, oh, it happens no. to be the place where um, everyone in my family except me got rear-ended uh, because of a hill, but that's a different story. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even there. <laughs> it was... Anyways. Yeah. So, it's slick. The first car, like, they both need to stop, because that's the law. When there's a bus stop, stop, you stop so that you don't run under children on accident. Um, yeah, which I yeah. would say is a pretty okay. good law to have. So they, they're slowing to a stop, but the thing is, they're not slowing to a stop, because it's slick. Uh -oh. Oh. So the first one, uh, the first car is kind of, it's slowing, but it's not slowing very fast. Like, you can tell they're trying to slow down. But they're just sliding at this oh, point. And they're kind no. of like wobbling back and forth too. Uh, and then the car behind them is going slightly faster than them. Oh, um, that's cool. And I don't, I don't know how it happened. But the second car was like spinning almost. It was like, oh, like oh. it was almost like parallel, uh, not parallel, perpendicular to the road. So it was almost sliding sideways, and it managed to like slip between the bus and the car in front of it, and just continue oh. down the highway without like my hitting anything. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> it was That's like straight from an action movie, except without people with guns. 
And I was like, holy cow, uh, what the heck just happened? What? <laughs> that sounds insane. That sh- what? It should have been a car wreck. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't. But like. Yeah, but whoa. I mean, like, I, I, I bet, I I bet like, you the driver inside there is like, whoa, I just did an insane thing. Yeah. Whoa. The driver's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. And I totally missed my whole John Wick moment right there. I should have got that on camera. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it was oh, actually dude, You should have gotten that on camera, man. I mean, I, know. Put I should get a dash cam man. so I can catch these things on camera. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man, I love that. But yeah, the, the roads uh, were terrible. Uh, well, we're the glad no one hurt, though. Yes, we're we are greatly no glad. Yeah. Great, greatly, very oh. glad. Greatly glad. What the heck? But no, the roads were terrible. <laughs> Uh, and everyone at school was complaining about it that brought up the snow. They were like, oh my goodness, the roads were terrible. I think, I don't know, there was, I heard rumor of, I don't know, an upside down vehicle in a ditch somewhere and I'm like, dang, they should have canceled school. (laughs) (laughs) They definitely should have. Pretty sure everyone was okay though. That was an interesting story though. I gotta say that was, that was way more interesting than, um, a bus engine going to smoke, but then yeah, again, my bus starts smoking, and I'm like, "Well, guess what? <laughs> I have a John Wick moment here, my man." <laughs> what can yeah, I say? Yeah. Oh well. My but life we're is talking an about movie. Yeah, I mean, all of our, our lives are at some point, unless if you don't I mean, get that moments, well, then you just hopefully gotta be a sad boy. I know. I don't know. Ac- action scenes in real life are scary, so I don't know if I want them to be completely. But then young. afterwards, if if they weren't like, if the, if nobody got like seriously injured, or uh, like seriously traumatized, and afterwards you're like, okay, that was actually kind of intense. That was that was a good story that to tell for cool. a hypothetical podcast I have. You know, I know it's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Well, today we're talking about educations. Um, which is education uh, across borders, where um, Squidney here is from, again, let me reiterate out the whole gist of our podcast. I am from Indonesia, and Squidney, or Sid, is from America, where he, apparently, high school starts at grade 9, isn't it? Yep, that is correct. correct. Well, my high school starts at grade 10, so that's an interesting okay. fact. Um, how many years are in high school for you? Four. Nine huh. to twelve. You only have three. Well, technically oh, ten to twelve, so it's basically the same. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. well, regardless, um, it is a, a pre- pretty fun, I must say. It's high school's pretty fun. Um, yeah, high school At least in best. my experience. All right. So in my high school, we have a lot of lessons. So in so basically yeah. from transitioning between uh, middle school to high school, you have to pick a major you want to um, study. It's either oh, the social studies major, which you will learn geography, economy, um, social studies, obviously, and also yeah. history. Um, okay. But if you pick the um, science major, you'll only learn um, not not only learn, but you you learn specifically the, um, math. Uh, biology, physics, chemistry, all the good stuff. Okay. But outside of those major lessons, you still have the a must lessons. So uh, these must huh. lessons, both majors have, so you, you will get them regardless, which I kind of hate because I don't like most of them. But um, <laughs> we have, uh, let's see, on the um, must uh, category, we have English, obviously. And then we have, yeah. um, wait, hold on, let me think. We have PKN. PKN, if, uh, well, you definitely won't know what PKN is, but uh, Indonesians, you probably know what I'm talking about. PKN is basically a lesson where we basically learn about the, um, the intricates of the law in our country, uh, specifically the like ideology and all that. So basically to oh. uh, keep our nationalism high uh, is, that, is, that, is the whole point of that lesson. And then okay, that's cool. um, we have what's it called um, on one of the uh, religion where okay. yeah, you know it can probably get, tell. And then the thing that I told you about um, 
the lesson where you are taught life skills, so that's cool. Um, and then um, you learn Indonesian, obviously. And the last one, I think, uh, is Mandarin. That's uh. already quite a lot of lessons. I didn't count how many there were, but if anyone if anyone's counting, well, that's, that, that's that. And then for the major one, uh, you can either pick, uh, again, the social studies or the science. So on the social studies, um, for like history, you learn like um, the world's history instead of just the Indonesian history. Since okay. it's in the major of science, you still learn history, but it's just the Indonesian history. So, uh, you know, you can, you can see the difference. Um, and then on the uh, social studies, um, what's it called? Um, major, you, you, you still do learn math. Uh, but you you learn like the basic not no not 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 exactly basic math but um the must math or like the yeah. the stuff you learn in high school but not this not the hard one so they don't learn things like math. calculus they don't learn things about like uh limit I think and then they don't learn things about uh, basically the hard ones are saved for the science major ah. um so if you graduate high school as a for example a social studies major you can't go to university with uh with the uh, like a profession to be a doctor like that or a profession to be a scientist or whatever like okay. you have to go with the major that you pick since high school and then for the science major uh you can't go uh, sorry for the science major it's sort of weird because if you're a science major you can still go to the social studies sort of professions uh, kind of major in the uh, in the uh, mm-hmm. grand scheme of university uh, which okay. means most people think like oh you know what it's you know it's beneficial to just go in science you know and you know I can I can yeah. think about what to pick later you know I don't have to pick a like a profession I want to be as soon as high school but um, one downside is the science major is really hard man come on like yeah. I like if you so in my class or like in my school, um, our uh-huh. our classrooms we have like one of side one side of the wall is just like big windows where you can uh, people on the outside can see inside and we can see outside uh, on the you corridor. Can see the freedom so, outside. Yeah, you can clearly Long see for when the day to be over. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that that was me. I'm mean, like, <laughs> when's the school over again? <laughs> um, these uh, people can clearly see like when most of the time the social studies major class will be like you know laughing having fun and then the when you look beside them <laughs> to, into the science class and just like all gloomy all very dark looking down at their tables <laughs> and some can, of them are crying i can sort of relate to that because i was in science major and i was like oh man this is hard <laughs> what can i say <laughs> um uh. But my friend who was in uh, social studies major, I was like, why do I see them online on Steam playing games so often while we're like <laughs> studying? This is this is not fair. <laughs> what is this? How do they have 1,200 <laughs> hours in No Man's Sky? What is this? <laughs> That's like, what? You have time to play, but we have like uh, <laughs> chemistry and physics exam tomorrow. Well, we have nothing. What? Oh, man. Yeah, I guess if you want to um i guess the diff- one of the big difference in um social stuff or like um yeah. recreation if you want to be like more free to do something you would pick social studies major even though later on when you're picking uh, um what you want to be as a profession that will be sort yeah. of limited and then okay. um besides the science major and the social studies major you have uh, to pick an arts major so there's both there's two arts where you can pick either music or the uh, I don't know how to translate to English, but the the other art, you know, the drawing, the sculpting, whatever you're making. Oh, you that's know? just art. Uh, that's just art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you go there. You go. That's just art. Either you yeah. pick art or music. Uh, I picked music at the time, and my teacher, oh man, he is the greatest man alive. <laughs> what so. can I say? He's a he's a he's very smart at everything and when i say everything i i do mean everything he could play the violin really well he could play the piano he could play really cool drums he could play oboe he could play uh bass uh electric guitar 
uh, a thing called kolintang. Mm-hmm. You probably don't know it, but uh, it's a bamboo-based um, uh, musical instrument. And then that he could play cool. guitar. He could play like <laughs> he could literally play anything. Like I've never seen a man alive um, playing that so many talented. instruments. And I was like, whoa. I was literally taken aback. Like this man is a genius. Like this he man play- doesn't have. This guy has too much time on his hands. <laughs> I I know on the on the I, I believe like on the first day or on the one one of the uh one of the lessons like one of the first lessons that we got he showed yeah. off a music he made where he, it's basically just him playing every single instrument. I was like, whoa, whoa, that sounds cool, impressive. <laughs> I know, and I. I learned how to play drums from him. I was interested to play drums, but I've never like actually learned to play drums uh, properly until I've met this guy. I'm like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. I'm gonna learn from this guy. <laughs> oh, I've was, had my share, was a, share of percussion, uh, not really drum set, a, but more bells and vibraphones, marimbas and stuff. Ah, uh, well, still. This guy is insane. Let me tell yeah. you that much. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, a music man. One, the one with the symbols? <laughs> FNAF? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, he's not that music man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, no. I mean, well, that, would be, well, that would be quite the plot twist if he is. <laughs> <laughs> plot twist. He's actually a doll. Oh, no. But that's, that's not true. I mean, um, definitely not true. Oh. I think it's not true. I don't know if it's true. Uh, Ooh, it's not what true. Is it? mm. Oh, we may never know. I you guess know, we may subscribe not. and find out. <laughs> You'll have to get him on the podcast and ask him that question. Maybe one day. One <laughs> day. He's a busy man. I mean, apparently, uh, he got. A, he had a kid. I think. I think huh? last time I heard. So he's pretty busy. That that uh, does tend to imagine. make people busy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> having a time. Well, regardless, um, regardless, no. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, I, I, I do have uh, more stuff to tell, which is like, for example, in one of the ch- chemistry, I ah. hate chemistry. Okay, maybe not, not hate. I despise chemistry. Oh. I used to like chemistry <laughs> when I was in middle school, but then as soon yeah, as I stepped into high school, was about like, oh. and not math. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. when we're in middle school, you learn about you know the school lab equipment. You know, you you do cool mixing like, this and this. You're like, whoa! I like chemistry. This is fun. I can make water and then in high green. school, <laughs> and then in high school, you're just like learning so many formulas i uh, i don't even like, remember uh, them anymore i honestly don't remember anything i learned from chemistry either <laughs> we did I, mean, I remember pumpkins, some though. of them i remember some of them i just uh, i just don't like it man like i don't even understand most of them like um i remember in high school yeah like one of my lowest scores was in chemistry and it was like a uh, like a sort of like an exam with it, but not really because we could like make these uh, sort of like cheat sheets where we can write all the formulas in. But every time uh, I face a question, I just don't know where to start, man. Like, well, oh, what do yeah, I do with relatable. this? <laughs> what do I do with this? Like, I have this what information you, in this, on this, this small asking? piece of paper. But like, like, which one do I use first? Like, I don't even understand, you know? Okay, that reminds me of a um, funny story I have. Oh, oh okay. So, Go ahead. Uh, it was back in middle school. We were taking a standardized test. I think it was the ISAT, for anyone who knows what that is. Um, I think, maybe. I don't know. It was a math-based test, or at least the question I was working on. And mm-hmm. it was like, what is the square root of 7 squared? And anyone with two brain cells would say 7, you know? Mm-hmm. But I only had one brain cell at the time. <laughs> oh my. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel so dumb looking back, but it's hilarious. So what I did was I, I'm like, I don't know how to find the square root of 7 nice and easy because my calculator doesn't have a square root button. So what I did oh. was I was like, okay, I, it's probably like 2.6-ish. So I just did like 2.6 times 2.6. I'm like, okay, that's a little high. 
So I did like 2.5. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's a little low. I'll do 2.55. And I kept doing that until I had like two point and then like seven digits. And I'm like, okay, I think that's precise enough. And that took me like <laughs> 15 minutes. And then I multiplied it by myself and it came at a seven. And I just looked at it for a solid second. And I'm like, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, well, uh, it was great. <laughs> oh, what, what? How did you come up? Like, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna type in two point something instead of just, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it's common sense now, but I mean, yeah. probably at the time you're like. This makes no sense. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work around it somehow. I'm like, this is so. I don't know how to do what they're asking, but I'll figure it out. And then I figured it out. <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, square root of seven squared. Obvious. Oh, it's obviously seven. I'm so stupid. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Clearly. Yeah. There's, there's no uh, doubt in a single doubt in my mind. <laughs> not a single doubt. Oh uh, man, it's hilarious. I remember though one of the most fun things in high school was yeah. in physics class. I don't really, I don't, I'm not say, I'm not saying that I, I'm, I, I'm fond of physics. I don't like the counting. What but I, heard I like you say the practical was, physics stuff. is my favorite every day, all the time. It, I, have the best thing is physics. That's what I heard you say. Yeah, that's definitely what I said. Um, oh. <laughs> anyway, oh, we got him. Um, <laughs> One of the most fun things that I had with physics was in the practical class. And I remember my teacher announced that we were going to make a water rocket. And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know it's a lot of fun. So um, we would take these two liters, um, you know, plastic balls for drinking water. And then, you know, glue wings on them using these like hard cardboard. Fill them with water, you know, pluck them up. There's like this uh, whole thing using like balloons and stuff to make it uh, pressurized. And then all you have to do is just pump water in it and also uh, using a, a bike pump, pump inside the bottle until it yeah. bursts, until the literally the cap of the bottle would like burst and explode. Ooh. And it would fly so high. I'm like, whoa, that's insane. Yeah. Yo, yo. Um, I, I can't exactly remember. Orbit. Yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, at the time, my school was like at least three floor high um, or three stories. And then um, my bottle went like, I don't know, like maybe around almost the third. Like one of my friend's rockets went like flying. It went through the roof, one, one might say. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, and then... And then he told us stories after the fact, after the um, experiments were done, after the scoring. Um, he told yeah. us like these um, stories about the past uh, water rockets that w- was done by the previous like year uh, above yeah. us. And apparently, one guy was insane enough to use this. Um, th- you remember the, the the gallon thing that I that I told you about? How Indonesian yeah. gallon is like. Like really big, or like oh, yeah, really yeah. really big. Like we, we used, apparently one of the guys used that gallon <laughs> for the <laughs> rocket, and, it, oh, and apparently it, it it made such a mess. And they they were like warned by the uh, head of the school and like, better not do that again. <laughs> you know, better not do that such or a mess. No science. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so much fun! And then one of the things we did as well, we made a pop-up boat. Um, oh. So if you don't know what that is, have you heard of pop-up boat? I've not pop-up boat. Pop-up boat, yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, it's a boat that made a uh, pop-up sound, like pop, 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 pop. So it's basically, oh. uh, like the basic inner workings of it, it's 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 a uh, a simple steam engine. Uh, to show basic us who, who's learning physics steam how engine? steam engine works. It's a steam engine. I, I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, te- technically it is. Dang. So how it works is that um, you have this uh, boat you make 
using a cardboard uh, milk box and then you would you know install a flag and whatever but the main engine is basically a coca-cola can we're not sponsored but you could if you want to um i mean i wish a coca-cola can where you cut it in a sort of way and then you glue both like piece of the can together so it forms like this envelope uh which okay. should be um vacuum and then you would insert a um straw in the envelope um like one going in and then one going out bada bing bada boom fill it with water put it on the um like what's it called put it on the uh water like a lake or something uh, last time i used like a big bathtub like this school had a big bathtub so i would put that in there and then oh wait no no we did that online never mind that was like when uh, online hit online school hit um oh, okay. we put that I, I put that in one of my, uh, the big like tubs that i had at, at my house and then run it so it's basically uh two straws at the back of the boat one for water going in and one for water going out uh, okay. not water uh, steam so the water yeah. would get sucked in because um so like uh, be- just below the envelope of the boat, uh, the envelope of the Coca-Cola can, um, we will put a candle there uh, with lit fire. So yeah, the fire would heat up the um, the can uh, filled with water, and then since the water boils up, the steam comes out the other end of the uh, straw, pushing the boat yeah. forward. But since the water oh. goes out, or like technically the steam goes out. The inside of the um, the envelope becomes vacuum, so it sucks water in, and it's just an infinite loop of steam engine, and it's so cool. That's (laughs) actually awesome. We never did anything like that. Yeah, and 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 this guy, this my physics teacher is an insane man. He's also one of my favorite guys ever, favorite teachers ever. Um, Okay, (laughs) he's a he's also very smart. He's a an engineer. Also learns physics, oh. um, and very, very, very big brain. I gotta say, I mean, for him to come Massive up with that brain. as a physics school project is insane. Just to That's teach us awesome about project. steam engines, I know. And he also was the one who taught us to do the um the water rocket. Oh, well. And then we heard from I, I heard from my um like the juniors in my school. Uh, that yeah. apparently now they're doing um, a gravity car where you will drop a coin or like uh, it can be a- any weight basically. But um, he said that anyone who could use a coin would get an immediate 100 because it's so hard to do it. Uh, but if uh, apparently if you drop said coin, it would like um, unroll a string which spins the wheel and it goes um, forward, which is really, really cool. Um, and then apparently this, what's it called? Uh, the the gravity car can go up to t- ten meters from just like dropping a little thing. That's insane, right? Dang. And that's I was like, whoa, cool. that sounds also so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Before I let you, uh, do, before I let it be your turn because I've been stuck yeah. for so long now. Um, <laughs> yeah, one last thing gosh. was. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so much fun to talk about no, school, no. man. Let's <laughs> um, like physics, also physics class. Again, this guy's such a fun guy. Um, uh-huh. Get it? Fun guy. And then, no, never mind. Uh, what's it called? He, he, what, one of the projects was like about balance and portion uh, or like rotation. So he made us make a tower out of spaghetti. Um... Dried spaghetti. Sounds delicious. So the, the one that sounds less delicious. Well, you don't cook it. It's just it's for a tower. So you, you have to basically it, construct a tower that's of minimum one point five meters tall, um, or I think one or at minimum one meters tall, and then you'll get one hundred if you reach above two meters, I believe. And you have oh. to build it like like with one out bag of, of spaghetti. spaghetti out of dried spaghetti. You gotta make it. You know, um, stable because, like, after we've built it, we've got to take a picture of it and, you know, show proof that we did it. And we have to record a video of us, like, trying to um, gush it with wind. And it, it must not fall. If it falls, well, yeah, you, you fail. You fail the uh, assignment. But, uh oh. 
I managed to do it. I barely yeah. managed to do it actually. So um, my my uh, tower was horrendous. Let me tell you that much. But um, <laughs> we, I when I was like gushing it with wind, I know it's like disgusting but uh <laughs> when i was trying to to gush it with wind um it bare it almost fell and i was like no 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 oh, no no and it's like oh okay Please, oh we did no. it <laughs> oh we good we good but yeah that oh. was like really really fun times uh but that was just only grade 10 by the way so you know uh we, we still got a lot of things to talk about so i'll, I'll let you talk How's it to be okay. grade nine in uh, high school? So, uh, I, I, th- I think it's really interesting. The uh, like the, what what do you call the major system in uh, uh, your school? Majors? Uh, Is that what you it's, call it? It's called jurusan in Indonesian, but it's called major in English. Okay, I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, that's not a thing we do here. At least I don't think it's a thing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the way we, the way high school is structured here is essentially you pick the classes you take. There are a few required classes like uh, English and math, some science classes, some, uh, totally forgot the last one. Uh, I probably didn't do it. But no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, there's some uh, classes that are required by the state of Idaho and the United States to for that we need to take in order to graduate. However, yeah. the rest of the classes uh, called electives, uh, we are just ah, free to wait. Pick that's those. the thing. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. So in like in science major, you have electives, yeah. math, elective physics yeah yes so, yes that's the word i completely forgot about that yeah so we have elective classes which are essentially uh whatever classes uh we're interested in or we need to take because we're behind um i wasn't behind i was ahead because my middle oh. school did something weird where um they had two classes or they had a, a class that counted as two classes but only half the class because they did it really weird. I don't know why they did it that way. But like the first semester, <laughs> they taught physical science. So like talking about like rocks and things like that. And then the second semester, they taught uh, another kind of science. I don't remember which one. But since that only counted as half a class, I didn't want to take half that class again. Oh, I think it, the second one was biology. So what I did was uh. during the summer, I took an online class um, for the physical science. And then I took biology my freshman year. And I also took, at the same time, I took uh, ecology, I think. And then I didn't have to do science for my sophomore, oh. junior, and senior years. Interesting. Okay. Um, I was also ahead in math uh, because I was in algebra one, I think it was in middle school. So I was Wait a of normal. Wait a second. Yeah. So you have freshman, junior, sophomore, and then senior. Uh, it's freshman, sophomore, then junior, and then senior. Oh, okay. okay got you. But yeah, the, that's the four years. Uh, and then if you're bad at school, uh, oh, no. or for another reason, and you have to go and you don't graduate your senior year and you have to go back another year, you are a super senior, and everyone thinks you're old because you are. Are you super senior? <laughs> now, <laughs> I, I swear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. no, really. Now, <laughs> are you like a just a senior or a super senior? I've already graduated. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wait, when? <laughs> in in May. Oh, last year. Yeah, well, I guess we're the same then. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I've been at, you I've been out of high school story. for a while. Um, uh huh. Me too. So yeah, that's kind of the way that the school works. I mean, 
there's a lot of like the require classes um most of them are like okay you're gonna take health your sophomore year you're gonna take this math class your junior year you know um but then if you're uh -huh. ahead like i am then you're like what the heck do i do because there's like six classes i've already taken that people my grade are supposed to be taking and so i have nothing to do and then i have to find something to do uh, huh. six classes that's it six well that was a rough that was just a random number uh we had seven classes <laughs> this semester but still six really that six? sounds so nice man what can i say no 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 it's uh we we have seven classes per semester uh, and there's a total of eight semesters in your high school uh so but uh but, i don't know what that uh, adds up to uh, but uh, uh, that, that's that's still so nice Se seven classes <laughs> a semester still this is this is a repeat of what we had in uh we discussion in uh, part two yeah we, we, we both out. know uh, indonesia has way more classes than the united states does. <laughs> Yeah, and somehow, somehow we're still like lacking behind America, so that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Maybe yeah, it's because like, you have more classes. We've been complaining oh. for years, you know, like for I literally mean years. Uh, students from across the country have been complaining to government, like you know, Swiss. Look at America. Look at every other, basically every other country <laughs> who's now very modern. Look at the normal they countries. They way Throughout less less than, than, we, than we do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then you can pick six. So out of the six, how many can, can you pick? Uh, it depends on how many of your required classes you've taken. Normally, it was like, I don't know, like two or three. Or one to three See? classes that you could just pick. Look at this guy. He's having fun with oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I... Like on my story just now, um, I, yeah. and that's actually like, that's more than four required classes plus the major or uh, like the elective stuff. That's like that comes in a whole package. You can't just pick. Oh, I just want to learn just biology, maybe. I, you can't yeah. do that. You have to pick the whole thing. Like science major, you gotta take the whole thing. Um, like yeah, uh, yeah. the social Get studies wrecked. major, you gotta take the whole. Oh. It's so annoying. Like. I don't want to learn chemistry. I don't want chemistry, you know? I did take chemistry, um, even though I was not required to. And I hated the class, and for some reason, took two semesters of it, even though I could have dropped it. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? Did you enjoy it? I mean, you did. Clearly, you don't I enjoy mean, it, but did you enjoy it as long as you did? Not really. I mean, uh, there, there was a one time. That was kind of amusing. Like the there's only like three days that were like kind of uh, like interesting or not interesting, but like looking back, I'm like, oh, that was pretty cool on Halloween mm -hmm. or the closest day to Halloween that wasn't a weekend because I think it was a weekend that year. Maybe um, we blew up pumpkins, like literally exploded them. Whoa! Um, <laughs> uh, with explosive imagine chemicals. having Halloween. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Spooky. You know, um, Halloween doesn't exist here. We might have to talk about that someday, but you know, yeah, someday. That sounds like a, um, so. we, I don't know. Uh, we occasionally did a lab. I don't remember which the ones we did, but I do remember the fire starters were fun to play with. Um, Whoa! <laughs> did you make any elephant toothpaste? No, we never did. Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. That's such it, a missed opportunity. It's such a cool. Ex that's like the go-to high school experiment and we never did it i yeah, never even dissected a frog or a worm or whatever uh that's we so never right. did that and i, I don't know what's up i dissected a fish when i was grade two i think for science yeah so that's like elementary and that was pretty yeah fun. here we do I mean, mostly it was frogs um yeah poor know. frogs my sister did sharks once whoa okay which so I thought apparently, was cool. apparently, uh, yeah. since I only had six months, no, not six, seven, eight months of offline uh -huh. school in my high school when I was grade 10. And the mm -hmm. rest of it, it's online. Ah. Um, 
which is really sad because everyone, and I do mean every single adult uh, here in Indonesia at least, uh, would say that high school is one of the best experiences you'll get, especially offline. And we get, and then, and then COVID struck, yeah. and we're like, well, well, I guess well, we're screwed now. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> so much for that. It was nice uh, knowing dude, you. It's so annoying. So apparently in high school, um, you would dissect yeah. a chicken, I believe, if I'm not oh. wrong. Fancy. And well, I have chickens you... in my backyard if you want to come over. Uh, we can cut one of them. Well, open. yeah. If only, if only it wasn't so expensive to get there, goodness sake. <laughs> you know, it's just a flight to the United States. Yeah, you know, it's no, it's no big. I just have to, you know, sell my kidneys, sell, my, sell one of my eyeballs, you know, and then I can probably maybe afford one trip and not, you know, be able to go back. You know? Well, but then you'd be in America and you get paid a lot more. And then I get, I, I'd be homeless and um, too. disabled because I, I lose one eye and lose one of my kidneys. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> Anyways, education. Yes. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, high school was really fun. Um, actually, I enjoyed most of my classes. Any... Not like the classes themselves necessarily, but like hanging with the people in the class. You know. Definitely, yeah. The the friends, the friendships we make along yeah. the way is the one of the most, yeah, one of the best things that's happened. Uh, like is it has. Okay, this is interesting. Has mm-hmm. any drama ever happened in your school? Because I, I can bet you it has happened in my school. There has been drama. Some of oh, it is uh, too we extreme to, the- to talk about on this podcast. Uh, <laughs> okay. How about the non-extreme but still interesting? Is there anything? Uh, well, there was a lot of relationship drama, which was honestly ah. to me who was single well, up until my senior year. My girlfriend also wants me to mention that we got together my senior year. So, there you go, oh, girlfriend. Did, did, did she specifically <laughs> ask you to say that? Okay. Well, she's been looking forward to this episode, and she's like, oh, are you going to talk about meeting me and Mike up? Probably, because you mentioned it. Oh, well, I guess I'll dedicate this last seven minutes to just hearing out how you, how you got together with your girlfriend. No, that we're talking about controversy. I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. But the big one, ah. there was a huge. Oh. There actually, yeah, there was the, there was a couple with the school dr- district. But the big one with the high school, which I will not go into detail. Uh, there was this one guy, uh, who did something extremely illegal, and oh, uh, no. he's in jail now. That's. Wait, I just did. I didn't think anyone you said that. What? Excuse me. Yeah, it was awful. Um, okay. Yikes! It was yikes. Intense stuff. Nothing violent. Yeah. Um. Nothing okay. during school. Um. But yeah. So was he caught outside school then? I, or I don't he... know. Um. Well, what what can you tell us about it? Is it is it something you can't talk about? Uh, well, I mean, I could talk about it, but I don't know if it's appropriate for the podcast. It wasn't like a violent crime, um, but yeah, he was okay. well, dealing in something illegal. Um, ah, I can already tell what what you meant by that. So <laughs> it, it wasn't drugs; it was far worse. Oh. Um, but oh no, yeah, he's in jail now. <laughs> but yeah, that was wait. It was far, well, yeah. Oh, well, okay then. Yeah. Well, we'll move past right past yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll pass um, past that. But the other football teams, <laughs> like the other schools, when, when we went to like this. football game, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the other schools, when we went to football games, um, our rival, uh, they kept bringing it up at the football game, like yelling it at us, like oh, and we're like shut up. <laughs> but yeah, they're obnoxious <laughs> anyway, so we kind of expect it. But nice. there are rivals. Mm-hmm. So. Anyways, Ooh. Ooh. any drama happened at your school? Oh, no, it's not it's my turn. Well, again, the, uh, high school. There's a lot of relationship drama, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, which I I will not talk about because I promised the people who told me these stories that I will not talk about them. So I will not talk about them. Uh, yeah. But there is a drama... Uh, Whoa. let's see. Well, it's Spill not technically not a drama. It's more of a, 
it's more of a more of a punishment story. So oh. someone was late to school every single day, um, oh. and they were like <laughs> my best know, friend warned. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh. <laughs> Your best friend was I'll late every single time. Second. Okay, all right. But <laughs> this guy was late every single time. Um, and uh, one day the teacher's like, "Okay, okay, we need a we need a worse punishment because this clearly he's not learning anything. Uh, he's not he's, he hasn't learned the lesson." So uh, they devised the plan, which so in our country we have uh, these laws right, and ideology. And specifically for the ideology, which is called Pancasila, and it means basically five rules. Um, Pancha is five, Sila okay. is rules, I think, if translated, if I'm not wrong. Um, okay. Or like ideas or like dreams or whatever. And then uh, you have to basically, if you go, go come to school late after so many times, you have to recite all these five rules. Uh, uh. And then after after the fact, you have to recite, uh, or not, not recite, it's more like, uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of like recite, but you have to sort of memorize it. It's like, they'll give you the text, and then you have to repeat uh. it in memorized form. And then you have to read, or uh, like recite, what's it called? So, in our country's book of law, the prologue for the book of law, uh, there was like these four, um, what's it called? Four paragraphs written yeah. by the countries like governments and stuff that you have to recite and these four paragraphs oh, aren't short by the way so that sounds you have to like boring <laughs> yeah and I, well we they thought that would fix the problem but this I don't guy think that's how it works. you know <laughs> he, he bypassed that man i mean like he, he probably had the thing memorized in his head so well i guess he could come keep coming late then <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> Uh, I mean, that, uh, that sounds awful. I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how he's doing now after school's end, but uh, th- that was the thing. And one of the other funny drama was when it was not technically not drama, right? It is a minor drama, I think. Um, yeah. The teacher was teaching, and then when Uh-oh. this was, was when it was uh, it was online school, uh, the teacher was teaching, yeah. and then. For some reason, like this group of friends, uh, I'm not included, uh, <laughs> change all their profile pictures, bag, uh, virtual background, and like AI camera or whatever to okay. their friend's face, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> That's um, awesome. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know if, if I, I have no idea if it's a case of bullying or not, but at the time of when it happens, like, well, this is funny. <laughs> and the teacher was, like, so confused, like, what is happening? What is Why is everyone having the same face? That's funny. Like, that's actually funny. And yeah, I don't I think mean, it's I didn't, bullying I unless they were making fun of his face while doing it. Unless. Unless they did. But I, I'm yeah. pretty sure they weren't. Uh, like, They're just it was like, hey, spreading here's, like a here's Bob. We are all Bob Like, now. the first time, there's, like, three profiles changing and then game four five six and then, like most of my friends uh on my in my uh classes group chat i was like hey here's the image change your thing to this <laughs> and then it was, it was like spreading and like then a, all a plague. Spread and went downhill from there <laughs> oh there was it was hilarious it was a, a a fun afternoon after i was really sleepy with the class was like yeah That's okay, funny. This guy, i guess that freshed me up <laughs> <laughs> uh well, uh, your story about your friend from earlier being late reminds me of mm-hmm. one of my friends. I will call him Hayden. That's not his real name, but uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta give him a name. Um, so Caden mm-hmm. um, is one of, if not my best friend from high school. I still talk to him, uh, but then again, that was only last year, so that's not saying a lot. Um, <laughs> okay. So he had. He had some uh, attendance issues. It's not like he skipped school or was late. <laughs> he just got sick a lot. Uh, so that's not really a fault of his own. But plot twist, it was his fault. Wait, what? Yeah. He got sick. So, so he got sick, but it's, it's, it's his own fault for being sick. What? Yeah. So what? 
so uh he was gone like uh he was gone for like a couple weeks on end a lot of time like some of them were unrelated um but he was gone a good third of the time until like the last uh months or like two or three months of school when he suddenly uh wasn't absent at all and we we're like oh maybe he's he just uh he's just not getting sick and uh then he realized uh it, it well we he told us it was because he realized why he was getting sick and we we're like oh do tell oh. Oh. okay okay uh, and, a funny <laughs> cue. uh it's so funny so he when he would often eat chicken and when uh -huh. preparing the chicken he would take the frozen chicken uh -huh. out uh of the freezer and he would uh -huh. leave it on the counter for a few hours <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> before preparing it and so <laughs> oh I, no that's uh, not how you prepare chicken no it's not <laughs> but i'm like oh kaden no. of course you would do that that's what and we're all like face palming like oh my goodness that's such a you thing to do but that's hilarious so he's like oh i'm so stupid and we're like yes you are but we still love you you know that's all oh, that's hilarious amazing. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of a a story from a a neighboring podcast which is a uh, distractible where yep. i believe it was wade where he was telling stories about how he got a really 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 bad diarrhea from oh. eating <laughs> um th this like very much expired meat though <laughs> it was funny oh my gosh well that anyway <laughs> um that's fun <laughs> I, that uh, that was uh, on that podcast uh, when I was listening to it when I was sick actually when I, I got COVID uh, yep. that that brought me like smiles in the gloomy days of being sick smiles that was in the hilarious uh, although um, when I was uh, okay let's see what what's the like, the worst thing I've done from for uh, oh from <laughs> I guess when I was. Uh, so in in my school's canteen, there is a stand where they sold these uh fried soybean cakes. Um, it okay. sounds fancy in English, but it's just tempeh in Indonesian. So, <laughs> okay. um, it's a it's a really cheap food where they basically put these uh soybeans that's that's been fermented, uh, fermentized, fermented, right? But that's the word, fermented. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically just put it in oil uh, with some flour and egg and then bada bing bada boom you get a fried soybean cake and it's Is really it delicious good? Um, it's really good it's it's my it, it's one of or if not my favorite uh, food of all time okay I'm gonna have like, to try it then because it, it sounds it, like it's it, gross <laughs> it beats pizza it beats um, really? burger I, I would literally have I'd, I'd rather have tempeh Ooh. or these soybean cakes rather than having pizza. Like, no well, joke. I, I really want these to try really it now. Because I love pizza, um, like, a lot. Pizza's the best. I know. It's stereotypically <laughs> American, but I love pizza. <laughs> and hamburgers and well, fries. One day when you when you come here to Indonesia, I'll, I'll definitely take you to the best, best pizza seller ever. Pizza. Wait, awesome. <laughs> soybean cake seller ever. Not pizza. Hold on, man. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> but we can also go to get pizza. Or, or yeah, or we that can would actually pizza. be interesting. Go to Indonesia and trying the pizza there because it might be different than the pizza here in the U.S. Definitely. Um, or like we can significantly definitely go different. to attention. We can we can do uh, more of this food talk on a on a um, an episode about yeah, uh, this food is about high school. But yeah, and speaking of which, we're definitely all out of time for today. Um, <laughs> I gotta We're say, gonna thank to another... you, listeners, for dropping by. Oh yeah, we definitely will yeah, do. We, I'm not uh, a part four because I, I, we still got a lot of things to talk about 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 high school. I think the next thing we uh, when we do part four, I I think we should do it without stories uh, or the catch up yeah. stories in part. Because we're telling so stories think... the whole time anyway, so. Yeah, we're still so, like, I mean, yeah, that's the whole thing about it. So yeah. <laughs> I think part four will be full on story. So you guys better be ready for that. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Anyways, thank you listeners for dropping by to listen to Crossing Borders. This has been Joss and Sid. And don't forget to grab your passports on your way out. We hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye.